hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you all doing welcome to another exciting tutorial so today we'll be looking at how you can send uh, in-app messaging in your flutter application using firebase but before i start i want you to know about this app doggett you can see it's this is the icon it's currently available on play store you can search for doggett on play store or you visit their website doggett.app so what does this app do? It's a marketplace where you can sell your creative items. Like if you have a website template, if you have a mobile app, if you have designs, you can see it has so many things which you can sell on this platform. And it will enable, once you sell, you can promote it or uh, share the link to anyone or advertise on it. And users, potential buyers will come on this app and buy those your items and you get paid for it. So currently this app is available for now within the region of Africa. Okay? So if you are outside Africa, you might you can still you can still uh, upload your products and people in Nigeria can buy it or people in Africa can buy it, but you can really buy from like outside Africa. Okay? For now it's only available for African buyers but anyone around the world can sell their items right on this platform and then advertise it within the region of africa okay so if you're a seller you're welcome to participate in this app and sell your stuff so if you're a seller you just go down here to the seller and it opens another page for you so you you it might ask you to uh, up, update your profile to start selling and now you can go over to uh, upload to start selling your items and the upload process is just so simple where you just put your title and everything that is required for the item even the zip file containing all the source code and all the uh, the designs uh, the raw designs item that you want to sell okay and so that's that then if you want to go back to the buyers page you just have to click on this button and it takes you back to the buyers page so you can start purchasing items all right so Let's dive into the topic of today, setting up in-app messaging in your application. So we all know what in-app messaging is. Let's go to this site. You can see it's in-app messaging. It just helps us to trigger or send notification from Firebase console in our Flutter application. So it just appears as a native message. It appears as a dialogue, a banner, or just a single image. It actually comes whenever the user launch the app for the first time or when the user is currently interacting with the application okay but for this uh this tutorial will be using the test mode to actually test this stuff and if it works in test mode then you are very certain it's going to work in production okay the reason why i'll not be testing it live is because it has some restriction okay you can only send the notification once so that's why i'll be using the test mode uh, the test device so that we can actually see the examples multiple times all right so to get started with this we just need to add up a few things first you need to make sure you you have in added firebase into your application and you have already initialized flutter fire so if you remember this project which we started we have already initialized flutter fire and we have also set up uh, firebase in, in this application so i'm going to put a link in the description below and you can check it or you can check my last video uh yeah my last video explained all of this stuff so we won't be doing much on this so what i'll do first of all is to add this plugin see okay so you can just go here and uh, all right so we can copy this just go to installing and copy the stuff once you do that we go back to our project and then you can install the, the add dependency to your prospect html file Right, so once that's added, you can go to your Postman and Jamma file and you will see the Firebase in-app messaging is already added. Remember I said we are going to be testing this in test device. So in case you have not added Firebase messaging before in your platform, just add it because we'll be using it to actually get the token, the device token, and then select the, uh, the Firebase ID to actually send the notification on the test device. Okay, so I want you to get that uh, to add this Firebase messaging. Just add it, all right? And uh, I want to believe you have already initialized your Flutter Fire because you yeah just watch the previous video which I uploaded and you're gonna see how to upload it how to set it up. So we're gonna go back now to the site. I don't think I need it anymore because we already gotten what we wanted. 
and you can see uh to use this plugin with the default firebase app call this instance okay this is more like if we want to you can use this instance if you want to send or trigger the messaging in your app programmatically so you can just type firm that is f-i-a-m which is the variable name yeah and then you call in uh trigger event and it's going to trigger the event for you and programmatically inside your app but we are not going to be doing that we are going to be sending out from firebase console okay all right so you can see so if you want to test your implementation you can use the testing option in firebase console first you need to get the firebase installation id of your app okay uh forget this one they said yeah just add your firebase messaging dependency into your flutter application and once you do that we are going to retrieve that stuff from okay let's let me go to the main dot that or is it main dot that okay let's say i go to okay main dot that is actually the starting point of our application so what i will do i'm just going to create an instance of firebase messaging okay so let me create an instance of firebase messaging and uh, firebase messaging i know i've already created this stuff before inside this uh, this uh, gets message, but I won't be using that because that's not what we are actually working with. So I will just be doing everything like as if we are creating a new project. But make sure you add Firebase messaging dependency. Okay. So inside init state, inside init state, I will be uh, retrieving the Firebase token. So I'll just say get token. So once we get the Firebase token, we can also get the uh, app Firebase ID within it. So I can get. Uh, just create a function get token and it's going to be in synchronous so we can have final token okay equal to so you can await this and just call the firebase uh, dot get token okay like so to get to retrieve the token okay so i think i'm missing out on something not equal to there okay so what we can do we can print out the token just to get the token you can get it one time and store it anywhere you want but okay don't worry when you're in production you don't really need this device token except you want to send to a particular user so whenever you log in or the user login you get their firebase token and send this story sorry and your firebase uh, database so that whenever you want to send it you just retrieve it or tie it to their profile details okay so this one is already set up i'm going to run the app on my app right now my device okay then we can start testing All right, guys, so the app is up and running and you can see the Firebase token has been printed out. You can see the full Firebase token. OK, so if you can if you look closely, you see the semicolon here. Yeah. So what the semicolon does is it separates. This is the Firebase app ID. Yeah, that you want to use. Maybe you want to use it anywhere. This is the Firebase app ID. And this one, I don't really know what this is, but I know that the whole of this is the Firebase token. Yeah, I do copy the whole of this whenever I want to use the Firebase token. But for this one, it's actually the Firebase ID. So what you want to do is to copy this one. Yeah, copy it. You note, note this, there's a semicolon here. So make sure you copy this first one before the semicolon. That's actually your Firebase app ID. Okay. And uh, yeah, once you get that, we are going to head over to... Uh, the, the firebase console and from here we'll be sending the notification so go to remember we created this uh, testing account this firebase account while we are trying to uh the last time when we send the firebase uh, notification so we set this stuff up so what i'm going to do now is to go over to in-app messaging okay click on it Okay, so we can create your first campaign. All right, so once you're here, we are going to, uh, first of all, let's send a card. Yeah, a card should do. Or uh, let's say, yeah, let's send a card. So you can customize the background color of the card. You can set the text color of the card as well. Then you can give you the title. Uh, okay, my first 
the a body it's just as if you are sending push notification okay and uh, you can set an image if you want uh, we can leave that like that or yeah you can set the button let's download okay let's see download dot get yeah more like a button and we can maybe we direct you can use this button as a dismiss action or you can send the set the url you want to do you can actually use this stuff to prompt users to update your app so let's use this dot get website okay for a start okay dot get dot app and then what we can do is to set uh, i should okay let's continue first something is missing because we need to add one thing which is the image okay i don't have any image so what i'm just going to do i'll copy this one uh, let me copy the image link and then yeah, just paste it here so once you do that uh yep once you do that this button will be activated for us to click okay like so and you can see this test uh, something is missing i think this test okay test on device for now so what we can do i'll go back to my projects and then we copy this stuff remember i copied that image link so i'll have to copy this uh, app id again okay and go back to our project and i'll click on test on device so paste the app id and click on this button to add it okay and uh, okay that's it test then it's not going to show us some prompt here i believe campaign is ready for testing all right so we can go down to click on next then test the target you're going to select the app you want to target so that's the app we can click next so yep Okay, draft campaign. You want to make sure you add this campaign name. You can add anything. Let's say campaign. It can be any, any name. So make sure you add that. Then you click on next and scheduling. So you want it to be on foreground or to run on app launch. So it depends on the one you select. But for this sake, it's all going to work in app launch because we are going to uh, because it, we are going to kill the restart the app since we are testing on test device but if it's in production which sends only once then you have no issues just you can select only foreground but in this case let's just select the both of them and then set it up you're going to see the notification then once per device for this campaign okay you can still change this to display no more than one message every one day two days or whatever and we we'll leave it that way and nest this and nest this and you can leave everything like this then what we can do now is to review and publish so for this i think i'm going to show my app Oop, let me see what happens campaign successfully published okay uh, it's actually running so let me bring up my app you won't really see the notification now on foreground because from the from the uh doc here they said something note you will not see the test message until you close the app and reopen again on the testing device okay so that's what we are going to be that's what we are going to do now i'm going to close the app okay and then we open notification and you should see the app you should see the dialogue all right so my first notification firebase in-app notification so this actually uh the notification so as you can see now it has the image that we added and the first if you go back to your messaging now and go here now okay we can't really see it okay sorry for that but you can see we have my first notification firebase in-app notification and once we click on download docket so what happens if we click on download docket now it's actually going to open the website that we included there okay and it's op actually going to open the website but there's an error that i was expecting to see in case you didn't in case you encounter such error while testing your own it's very easy to add just go to the console maybe you send your notification for the first time and you didn't see any stuff just scroll down to your console it will tell you that permission denied or something like that and it will give you a url to go to google cloud console so that you where you enable the in-app messaging api okay so what you have to do the account that you use to create your firebase uh project you can use it to log into google cloud okay and then select your project there i'm so sorry i can't show you that because i was expecting the error to show up but it seems i've already connected it before so you go to google cloud uh then log in with your firebase details your the account you use to create your firebase 
account yeah for this for the project you're using you're working on and then you go to select your your project go to apis yeah and or an sdk then there you're going to search for in-app messaging sdk or api then you enable it once you enable it then you follow my step everything is going to work perfectly for you okay so it's just very simple we just got have to get the token to test for device but if you are not testing for device like you are pushing into production you don't really need this uh the firebase id to do that it's just gonna be it's just gonna work uh, seamlessly so the only thing we added was this in our firebase messaging and the firebase messaging to actually test the application to actually get the token sorry okay so what i'll do now i'm going to test this stuff again so first of all let me close this app i will go over to uh send them okay no need to send new campaign okay let me try something else which is a top banner all right uh, let's let's work with top banner this time and you can have hello okay let's just use any any test random test there an image this one you can you uh, the image is optional so you can skip that part and we can also make sure you select uh, the test device uh, yeah select it test okay for this particular one you can send image only model or card so you just have to experiment with each one of them and then you select the app you want to send it to uh, same method same process okay on foreground on app launch anyone you want to put just leave it that way and then next then we can click on review and publish okay campaign successfully published so what i'll do now i'm going to open up the application and see if we're going to see that notification all right you can see it's above here dss blah 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 yeah all the stuff so if we click on it it's going to dismiss right so guys this is what i want to show you and thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate and don't forget to actually check out our doggett and where you can sell your your items your creation your website your apps and make cool cash i'll see you in the next video thank you guys